Hello, welcome to Relaxing Watercolor and today I am going to share how to paint a porcupine or even use the same technique to paint a hedgehog using watercolor painting. Welcome to Relaxing Watercolor by Moam Das. I share weekly videos on watercolor painting. As you enjoy watching me paint, I shall narrate a story or rhyme written by me related to the watercolor painting. Each painting and story is available as printable for sale on my shop linked in the description box. Where I live, at the end of the last row of the houses near our colony, there is an area which is full of open spaces and some patch of little green patch, in a little forest kind of thing in middle of the city. And it all started when one night I went for a night walk after the dinner, pretty late say around 10, 30, 11. And as we were taking this walk, I was walking with my husband and talking, we sensed a little movement near the last road, the last line of houses and we saw this new visitor in our colony. It was a porcupine. I saw it for the first time that to right in front of me, say about just five or six meters from me, we just stopped there. And we were as quiet as it could be because we were pretty excited. The porcupine sensed us. And who else sensed the presence of porcupines? Some of the street dogs and the pet dogs in the nearby houses. They sensed the presence of porcupine and they started shouting. And the porcupine hid itself behind one of the parked cars. We took a different route and we continued with our walk. I was pretty curious and wanted to know more about porcupines and hedgehogs and wanted to paint one. So next morning was when I painted this porcupine in watercolors. I'm using simple technique, a step-by-step -step layering of watercolors. So enjoy while I tell you a little story that came into my mind and related to porcupine. So let's start. P for porcupine, P for plants. Porcupine was as happy as he can be until one day he touched his belly, which felt a little too round, a little too full, or let's just accept it, fat. Porcupine touched his belly and it jiggled like a jelly. He decided to eat healthy and eat lots of vegetables, grow his own vegetables. So porcupine started to grow potatoes, carrots, cabbage, cauliflower, radishes and so on. But his favorite was bright red and juicy tomatoes. On Sunday lunch, porcupine wanted to have fresh tomato soup followed by tomato salad and stuffed tomatoes. He went to his garden patch and started plucking red ripe tomatoes. One here and one there. But after a while, he had none in his paws. Where did all those tomatoes go? Can you please find them for good dear porcupine? <laughs> the story might be silly, but it just came to my mind as the porcupine have so many spines and needles on them. This story just popped into my mind as I was painting it and I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the process of watercolor painting. It's simple, using loose watercolor techniques and in the end I finished it with a little bit of strokes with black pen. If you would like to have the 
porcupine watercolor painting along with a little story as an A4 size printable or as an artwork printable for a 7 inch by 5 inch picture frame. You can get these printables on my shop in my blog. I shall put the link to my blog post in my description box. I hope you enjoyed your time and the process of painting. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video and if you are new here, please consider subscribing and do put that ringing bell notification on so that you meet me each week. Thank you so much everybody. Have a beautiful weekend and a lovely week ahead.